Hello guys, uh, so today I'm going to show you how you can take apart your uh, RG Strix SCAR2 and um, replace your uh, old battery. So I'm going to show you like what you need to do even before you uh, go and buy your uh, laptop. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can uh, take it apart. I uh, mean what you need to be aware of and uh, I will share some tips and uh, tricks that I know as I go so let's just uh, get started with, uh, before that this is just the new uh, battery so I will share the link uh, for where I got it um, so you can maybe check it out by yourself so it's uh, wrapped in some electrostatic uh, plastic which is always good so whenever you're working on any kind of computers, uh, of course you need to make sure that you don't carry in any charge with you, right? So, so don't like uh, stand on top of the rug or anything. You can just watch like there's a lot of YouTube videos on that. Okay, so but uh, for now we're just gonna take it apart first. So, so okay, so this is a GL704 if I'm not uh, wrong. So there are like a lot of screw, screws around here. So what you need to do is, uh, what I like to do is I just like start taking it apart from uh, this side. And so it's uh, very important to organize your screws because these screws are not of the same uh, size on all parts. So for example, all these are same. These two are short, uh, these two are short, these, these two are like long. So you just want, so if you have something to like, uh, place it a magnetic sheet or something which so you can just uh, put it there but uh, if you're just gonna do it like one shot like open it and then like put it back together like after that which means you're not gonna just like leave it for a long long period so what I like to do is I like to find a, 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 a good space like this and I just like put my screws wherever I find them so if I take it apart from here hold on So if I take it apart from here, I just put it like here. So I know like where it goes, right? So that's a easy trick you can use. Uh, yeah. Just make sure that it doesn't like roll off or like you're gonna do anything else in this table. All right, All right so all these screws are out so just make sure just go around and just uh, make sure all the screws are out and there's one in the middle make sure that's out as well so if you don't know like uh, where to where all, all these screws are you can just search up online your model and uh, just watch some reviews so I'll, I'll, I'll put the exact model for this in the video description okay so now comes the uh, tricky part on how to open this uh, from which side so based on my experience I've uh, taken this apart quite a multiple times so you always want to start from here. So which means uh, you pry open from uh, this side, which is, uh, I think this is the right side, the side with the SD, SD card slot. So you try to leverage, put something in here between the vents and you try to pry it open. So as you can see, I'm not sure whether you can see or not, but this is, this is all already coming off. So this is just to give you some uh, leverage to pop the hooks open. Yeah. So once you get some, once you get some leverage here, you have you actually have to start like prying it open from here. So if you have any cards or like uh, something, some kind of card or plastic, you can just like put it there and uh, try to get it open. So you want you want to you want to you want to open it from this uh, this side first, and then you can just go around the other side. So I'm just gonna try to release it from here. So I'm just uh, using my nails uh, here uh, because it's already loose. But for you, if you're opening it for the first time, it might be a bit uh, a bit hard. But it's it, it should come off if you start doing it the way I say you should do. You sh it should be easy. Okay, once so you can see that this is like uh, this is already like loose. It's already loose. So now what you can do is uh, don't just like pry everything open. So now once this is released. You need to go around the sides and release the sides. Yeah. So this is where, uh, if you have any uh, cards, which will be useful, but 
not gonna use any right now because this is already loose but yeah so just uh, take your time it's uh, it's not the end of the world uh, just go nice and slow and uh, pry everything open because you don't want to like break any hooks I mean it, it, don't worry too much even if you break like one or two it should it, it's still fine it, it will go back in because there's screws right but if you go like nice and gentle it should just come right off like that okay so I'm just gonna put this off to the side all right so you yours might look uh, something like this similar so whenever you open uh, any laptop or any device uh, which has a battery the first step is uh, should be to disconnect the battery of course if you have a card or something like this uh, you could just like use it to open it up yeah and then you just pull this thing up So you can just like stick it to the uh, end here and you can just like pull it out like this so it will just come right off. So you pull the pin towards you and then you just use some magnetic card to like pull it to the top. Yeah. So one uh, quick tip here, if you are doing something else, let's say you're changing the uh, hard disk or you're adding RAM or you're just cleaning or doing whatever else. So always make sure that you disconnect the battery and after you disconnect the battery, you need to put something in the middle like this. So why you need to do that? Because you need to you need to make sure that it doesn't touch the uh, circuits or any like the ground point and spark. Spark is a very bad thing in a laptop, guys. So if you spark, if you create any kind of spark or you touch something and there's spark, it's it has a very high potential that it will it will uh, create like a like static charge around your board. And what will happen is that when you try to open your everything will be fine when you try to open back your laptop it will be a black screen so it will just open up the fans would be spinning but nothing will uh, show up in the screen well there is a fix for it if you let's say you accidentally created some kind of spark and it just opens up black there is a fix for it I will uh, show you or I will tell you later uh, how to fix that but uh, just make sure you just put something here before you do anything else any cleaning but in this case, we don't be needing. We won't be needing this because we are gonna like uh, open up the uh, battery, of course. So no big deal. So I'm just gonna go around and uh, remove all the screws. Right. So it's the same process. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put it to the side. I hope I'm not talking too much. You guys can always like fast forward it or like something uh, if you think I'm talking too much. But I just want to make sure that you get like uh, the most uh, information uh, possible to fix your laptop safely, of course. All right, guys. Uh, now I would say this is a very important uh, part of uh, fixing or replacing your battery which is so you might be here for the first time so for the first time even before you buy the battery you need to disassemble it take it out and you need to take a picture of this so hear me out carefully so what you need to do is you need to take a picture of the model number and all, all the specification basically the uh, input voltage and all those things also on top of that so if you got all these things uh, correct it should be easy you just can set it to the seller to verify but on top of that, you also need to make sure that all your screw holes are matching uh, like in size and also the distance between them matches with the one that the seller is selling, especially if it's a third party. Uh, because it happened to me, uh, uh, if you ask how I know, because I'm, I'm obviously uh, taking this video for the second time uh, because they sent me a wrong one so even though i mean there's no fault on my side even though uh the model number and everything was correct which means i gave it i i bought the right thing but the pot i mean the screw holes didn't like align 
Uh, but it's okay. The seller was good enough to like uh, you know send me uh, send me a new one. I sent it back to old one. So yeah. All, so how to avoid this? Always make sure to take a picture of the pots and everything, the dimensions basically, and even the whole how how far uh, how far apart are they, and you should be good uh, just to make sure that you don't have to wait for too long, right? So if like once you get uh, that sorted out, so basically there's no other issue I would say. So you can just get the, take the new one, which is here. So this is the new one that they sent me. Alright. So this goes in like this. Okay, secure. So I'm not gonna uh, connect it first. I'm gonna screw everything in first. Uh, yeah so where are the screws okay now i'm gonna put this in so i got like a few screws in it's almost snug yeah just to secure it in place right because we have to test it first like whether it like works or not you don't want to like screw everything in and, and like find out like something is like not right so i'm gonna put this in so when you're putting it in if it doesn't fit to like don't force it make sure you have the right model and thing like but it should be similar. You can always compare it with the old one. It should be like, like similar the connector and stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Once this is in, so luckily uh, there's no uh, spark. So I'm assuming it's to, it's either that this thing is like depleted or like it's a, it has like less uh, uh, battery in it, like charge. So it's not sparking. But I'll tell you like what to do if it sparks and. Uh, you know what to do so that you know what to do Okay, so once this is in, uh, what you have to do is you have to charge it, I guess. So I'm not sure how much battery it has, but I'm just gonna like to test. I'm just gonna open it up. So so I'm just gonna put the lid just like a bit on this side. I'm uh, not like fully like securing it and so over here so let's say that uh you open it up and it doesn't work like there's a black screen right so so this usually happen if there's a spark or you touch something there's a spark so you, this usually happens because of electrostatic charge and how you can discharge your laptop, uh, which had like electrostatic shock to it, is by holding down the power button. But before you do that, uh, you need to like turn your laptop, like uh, what you need to do is you need to disconnect the battery. So you disconnect the battery, uh, which is, uh, so you know, right? You saw the battery connector, right? So let's say this is the, yeah. So let's say this is the battery, I mean, this is the battery connector. So. So you take the battery connector, you wrap this up in like some kind of like a plastic or like a cellophane tape, uh, whatever, just to prevent like it from contacting the board. So you just wrap it up and what you do is you go and you hold down the power button for uh, 10 seconds. So while you're holding it down, just plug in your uh, charging cable. So mine is... here so I'm gonna plug in the 
charging cable to test. So while you hold it down uh, for 10 seconds, you plug in the charging cable. So you can see it is working. Basically, that's all guys for today's video. I'm just going to put everything back in the same way it, uh, that I took it out uh, for the rest of this video. So if you guys have any questions, do let me know in the comments. I really hope that this video helped you out.